as I encourage you to think about business and family governance, I would like you to think and become a steward of this because the successful leaders of family businesses, in my experience, become students of governance. Yes, they're great operators, they're great at the operations and they're great at strategy and all of these other things that you, you learn at great institutions such as Kellogg. But really what defines their leadership is their commitment to governance. As I depicted earlier in the three circles that each of those needs to be governed. The governance system that overlays those three systems is challenging. And the people that get it right become students of governance. It takes time. But what I'd like to leave you to start to think about, that the role of business governance in any corporate governance conversation that you will have, you will be introduced to the concept of independence and accountability. That's the role of business governance. In the context of family-owned businesses, the role is also to ensure unity and commitment, a sense of purpose. And these governors, these directors, if you like, their operational role or their daily role is to understand, test and endorse the strategy. I say that for a reason because Family-owned businesses approach the strategic planning process differently. The governors, the directors, the business governors need to understand, test and endorse. To understand this, what is sometimes counterintuitive, this longer term view to strategy is important but we're bringing about independence and accountability into the system. In the family system, the role of family governance is to communicate and educate. Think of that big tent where you've got this community that's increasingly large, that it's increasingly complex, that it's increasingly diverse, that we're bringing in a system, a governance system to ensure we communicate and educate that we bring around this sense of purpose, this stewardship, this feeling of we are here holding on better, this baton and handing it on to the next generation in better condition that we received it. And that's an, in, an evolutionary process that we move from informal to formal. All businesses are governed, all families are governed. But as it gets more complex, we move along this continuum. What was appropriate in the first generation is not going to be appropriate in the second generation and not going to be appropriate in the third generation. So we move from an informal approach to governance to a more formal approach to governance of governing the business and governing the family. 